Hello everyone, Wise Gamer here. Today we're doing another indie preview, this time about Pixel Piracy. This game's on early access right now on Steam, and you can get it for $15. Um, it's probably going to go up in price after it actually gets fully released, and it isn't something that they even wanted to put on early access, really. Um, you can actually see it down here. The developer says that so many people were asking about the game that they just had to do it. Um, but I'll go and let the video kind of play in the background here. This game is presented by the same people who made Terraria, and you'll see a lot of the similar elements here as well. So basically, you are a pirate, uh, the captain of, of a ship, and you get to build it up for yourself. You can see starting from just a raft up to a little bit bigger ship here. You're going to start recruiting different crew members, um, getting more outfits, customizing your ship, sails, uh, the way it looks and everything too, with cannons and all that stuff too. And you're in an open world sandbox, and you're basically going to explore, attack other ships, um, mostly computers right now since it's only single player at the moment. They do have multiplayer support coming sometime in the future. They don't really know how it's going to work yet or anything, but um, they're all AI controlled right now that you're seeing on the screen other than the captain, which I believe is the guy with the C, if you notice in some of the screenshots. Um, but you can see in the background there too some of the, the whole creation right now, and uh, the game just looks amazing. It's definitely that 8-bit feel that you get from Terraria and Minecraft and things like that. You get that creative feel also of being able to kind of design things your own way. And then the open world sandbox too. So you can see the C right here. I believe that's your character, the captain. And the rest of the guys are AI. So some of the other things that are going to be on here right now is they're saying it's going to have uh, probably 40 plus hours of um, gameplay just in one game, uh, game um, of single player basically. And basically what that is is that the story is changing. It's a random generated world and everything too. And they said on a pretty good run you can get about 40 hours and you would need to play through 10, 11, 12 times to see the entire world just because there's so many different things that could happen in the game. So this video is pretty cool. It just shows you attacking a beach and everything on that one. Um, yeah, just really an awesome looking game. I can't wait for it to come out. I can't wait for multiplayer too. I'm sure it won't release with multiplayer. It'll probably be something a little bit later, but uh, definitely check it out on Steam's Early Access. Um, I will put a link in the description to it, and it's pretty easy uh, on your system as well. So like it's the only one gig of RAM, 1.6 gig of processor. Most people should be able to run it without problems. Um, and then I just wanted to show the uh, the planned features here too. So 40 hours of content per walk or through playthrough, excuse me, got tongue-tied there. Um, like it says, you know, have your own pirate haven ev eventually, you'll be able to attack trade ships, ghost ships, it's going to have Mac and Linux capability. This is the part I was talking about here, online multiplayer, which eventually they'll do that with a faction system and they're going to have quests and everything too. But even right now in the early access, you can get up to a good 10 hours of gameplay, they said, if you get a lucky run. Um, and they're constantly doing updates and patch all the time, so just a lot of things that uh, you'll be able to check out. Um, really good loot system you can do armor and weapons and upgrade all that right now so you're getting a complete game it's just not um, all the stuff that they wanted to put into it like i said it's just fifteen dollars so definitely check it out think about picking it up and um if you guys like maybe i'll pick it up too and we'll do a little bit of a playthrough on it so thanks leave some comments below and subscribe for next week's indie preview um, i'm also going to have plenty of other games going on of course there's south park SimCity, um stanley parable all of that's going on too so thanks you guys have a great day Bye bye Thank you so much for checking out my video once again, guys. We are still doing the Stanley Parable and South Park The Stick of Truth. We're trying to complete all the quests that we can, get all the collectibles in South Park. And Stanley Parable, I just love the different endings that we get in there as well. Uh, we're going to continue to do Indie Preview once a week, so please make sure you subscribe. You can definitely see the latest and greatest indie games that are going through Early Access, Greenlight, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, things like that. So thank you for your time. We'll see you next time.